All Gravy with Teresa. We're live. Hey guys. Good cold Saturday, day before Valentine's Day. My beautiful, sweet, intelligent first granddaughter, Maddie Lee's birthday. All of that today. 18. On Saturday, February 13th. Uh, Maddie is 18 today, which has, uh, is such a gift. And I told Clint when he come in, I've had a hard time today, even though I am celebrating her and her life and how good things are for her and how smart she is. Um, you know, I'm always sad at the things her daddy has missed, and uh, he's been gone, sued me, 15 years. And in that same sentence, I want to say to all of the men in her life who have stepped up uh, where she's not searching for that male love, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, uncles. Thank you, church members. Uh, thank you. Uh, and most of all, thank you, Ben. You know, I love you very much. So, enough of that crime. <laughs> <Same story. laughs> we are going to make hamburger soup today. And okay. I was talking to um, one of my friends on the phone today, or not today, this week, and he wanted to know what we were making. And he said, you know, that just doesn't sound really good to me. <laughs> and I said, well, anything you put Velveeta cheese in is good. So. Uh, so it sounds good to me. <laughs> and... Uh, this recipe was adapted from another lady who uh, came up with it, and I'm sure if you didn't want to put the uh, hamburger in there, you could put smoked sausage would be delicious, shredded chicken would be delicious, and that's the thing. What we're trying to do is just get you to see how easy it is to cook a home-cooked meal, and then you can um, style it, um, move things around to your taste, what you like. So let's get started. Um, I've got a big mess here. I'll show you real quick. <laughs> While I had the kitchen messed up today, uh, I'm going to do breadcrumbs. You know, we uh, have a video to show you how to make homemade croutons and breadcrumbs. And we save all of our bread um, and cut it up in little cubes and put it in the oven. And that's what we use for croutons, which we'll use some with this soup today. Onions, I had some onions that look like they've been frozen, uh, so I'm going through them today, and I'm going to cut the bad off and give to the chickens, and the rest of it I'm going to chop up and put in the freezer for soups. So we'll get started on this uh, hamburger stew, we'll call it. That sounds a little <laughs> yes, more. Yes, stew. <clears throat> I've been calling it cheeseburger soup. Does it matter? Well, I think it is cheeseburger okay. soup. Sorry, I'm going to turn this other light on. It's dark okay. today. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. That's okay. Here we go. Better, better, better. So we're going to start off with, um, I went ahead and chopped up some of my vegetables today. But we're going to start off, so these will get cooking, with uh, four cups of chopped potatoes. Just plain potatoes. Uh, peeled those, washed them, and chopped them up. And however bigger cubes you want, just remember that they are going to be the size of your bites of soup. Uh, so mine are about medium. And this is a uh, container of chicken broth that we're going to put in there. And we're going to go ahead and let these start cooking. Turn my burner on over here on high on my handy dandy range. And um, Shout out to Kim Forshe, who hand makes out of polymer clay all these little foodie earrings. And she is so talented. This is uh, red velvet cake. So when I saw these on her page, uh, I got myself a pair and Clinton a pair. <laughs> uh, so he said today everybody at work really liked his little cake earrings. <laughs> uh, so thank you, Kim. And she has a setup at Little Fox Bakery uh, here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So, and I think uh, I saw on 
she had commented uh, on something last night where I'd shared it for that she is in the process of getting her a market page set up. So we're excited for that, excited for her. Uh, in this other, I've already cooked a uh, hamburger. We get our hamburger from Bentley Farms and we have it done in two pound packages. So I went ahead and just cooked the whole two pound package and we're gonna use a pound of it and put in our soup. I'm gonna look at it and if it needs to be a little meatier for us, uh, I may add the whole whole two pounds. We'll just see. Betty Phelps see says <laughs> Betty Phelps says afternoon Teresa. Hello Betty. I'm glad to see you on here. Welcome back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and I wanted to tell you, you know, we do what we have in our pantry. So um it said dried basil and I have basil leaves. Uh, so we'll make that work and dried parsley and I've got that uh, Velveeta cheese So we'll work on that cubing it up here in a few minutes. It takes two delicious cups of this <laughs> golden liquid <laughs> uh, So it's very simple to do um, shredded carrots um, Chopped celery and chopped onions. We're going to put, add all that in there too when these potatoes start getting done. Then we're going to put milk, sour cream, and I think that's it. A little bit of flour to make it thick. So it's going to be a good soup. Mm. Um, in the... What was I going to talk about, Clint? I don't know. Do you know? Clint works at Barnes and Noble, <laughs> and he was saying that people were a little bit crazy today. He thought maybe uh, because of the all this impending snow that we're supposed to get, and I get so tickled. I think back uh, when I was a kid, uh, which was in the, I was born in '60, so and it's hard for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> But one of the biggest snows I remember was in, I think, 77, uh, which is a year before Jeremy was born, and I was starting my last year of high school, um, and it was bad. We were snowed in for, I know, at least two weeks, mm -hmm. maybe more. Uh, but we were lucky. The old house that we lived in had a fireplace that had a metal hook on it, uh, and it still had the old kettle. Uh, so my mother cooked on that fireplace. Uh, so we never went hungry. Uh, we always had uh, something to eat. So this uh, recipe I got out of a magazine, and this is old. I got it from, um, from my mother-in-law, and I didn't even find a date on it. But it's a taste at home. Uh, oh, it's 08, 08 magazine of different heartwarming soups. Um, and this lady was from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, her name's Joni Sean Hay. And she sure. says she developed this <laughs> recipe at, from a potato soup. Uh, so that's kind of like we did our bacon potato soup, uh, which the recipe is on... Um, the recipes on It's All Gravy. Mm. Um, the potato soup that I made is delicious, but it's not real eye-pleasing. It kind of <laughs> has a gray tinge to it, uh, but that's because of the bacon grease, but it is delicious. So this one I think will be a little brighter, a mm. little more festive looking. <laughs> more magazine worthy. Right, more magazine worthy. <laughs> so our potatoes are cooking, and that usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes that we're gonna let them cook. Um, I'm getting ready to start to add in my vegetables. Rob uh, Bryant says, I love you, sweetheart. We miss you. Rob, <laughs> I miss you guys. Uh, I hope everything's going good. I hope the boys are doing great and uh, daughter and beautiful granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And, of course, your beautiful wife. <laughs> Let me see about that. I'm a little scattered today, y'all, and I told you I was a little bit tore up over, uh, you know, I, um, I heard through Facebook, a um, girl that I went to school with uh, lost her daughter and granddaughter in a car wreck uh, this weekend. 
And so that's kind of set me off a little bit. And, uh, you know, it never goes away. Uh, and I'm so grateful uh, that I believe that I'm going to see my son again. And uh, for all the people who don't believe that, I pray that you do. Because uh, I don't know how you get through it if you don't. Turn it down one more time. That's my, what's that called? It's a, uh, it gets super hot, super fast. <laughs> it's a new feature on a new range. Turbo. It's turbo. <laughs> it's turbo. Oh, yeah. All right, so in here, we have got uh, two thirds of a cup of carrots. And I just use my little chopper to do them. Uh, uh, the same, two thirds a cup of celery and two thirds a cup of onions. And to be honest, the celery's a little bit light because Michael was crying about it. <laughs> so what are you doing with that? Yeah, so we're gonna add all this in here. Sandra Miller says, hi Aunt Teresa and family. Oh, hi Sandra. Hey Sandra. I saw your little grandbaby had a birthday this week. Mm -hmm. So happy birthday to him. I'm glad you're watching. It smells good already. I know. So we're going to put our uh, dried basil, one teaspoon. One teaspoon. I'm going to get everything out but that. <laughs> one teaspoon right here of parsley flakes. And I, guys, on these, when they have them at Walmart or at Kroger's or at IGA, and they have just the whole buckets full of them for a dollar a piece, uh, that's when I get these. And I just get a couple of each one and stick them in the cabinet. That way you'll have them. Because this kind of stuff is what you, when you get ready to make soups, that you never have. Or me. <laughs> so, there's that. Basil leaf in there, that's going to be fine. And we're going to do one teaspoon of that. And you talk about smelling good. Mm -hmm. This stuff is, <laughs> it is kicking. <clears throat> so yeah, I apologize, y'all. I just got a notification that our connection is a little spotty. So sorry if we're cutting in and out a little bit. Um, let's see. Butter. Let's see. I'm going to put a half. Before I put my butter, I'm going to put a half of salt, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And our uh, internet out here has been spotty um, ever since the ice came. Uh, so we do apologize for that, guys. I can see me when I look back at it going, eat all we or like uh, Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Yeah. So there's our salt. And also apologize. Um, my gimbal's off, not calibrated right today, so it's kind of sorry if it's shaky. There's no earthquake, I promise. Y'all see, we always have biscuits. I cooked biscuits this morning. <laughs> we had sausage and biscuits this morning. I've always had biscuits laying around. <laughs> Deborah Drew says, Hi, Teresa. Sounds like this soup will warm you up good. Deborah. <laughs> I was talking to my mother in law. Deborah put on here that she would like to have dill pickle soup, which um, my mother in law is Polish and she calls it borsk. Mm hmm. Uh, and we have it at Easter. Uh, so I'm excited to make that for you all. It is so, you never think it was good, and it is absolutely. <laughs> it's delicious. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. One, two, three, four. So we're going to put two of them in here now, and that's a good guess. A little extra butter always makes it good. Just don't <laughs> think about it, Deborah. <laughs> and. We've got all this cooking good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back up. And I'm gonna put my hamburger in here. It's already cooked. So I'm gonna put about half of that in here. And I hope, um, Deborah, have y'all got a ton of snow up there? 
they live, live around a lake up north, and it, usually they get lots of snow. Or cold, I should say. Hmm. Nice to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> my, my friend Kaylee said, that's my kind of cooking. Eyeball that butter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's about a pound of what I had, and we'll see if I want to put more or not. But that looks great right there. Looks like a good hearty stew already. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up our cheese. Deborah said, not too much snow now, but more is coming. They have threatened us with that too, Deborah. Um, I think they really don't know about us where it's going to go. Yeah, we barely got anything whenever it's supposed to be really bad. But... And that's the way it usually goes for us. We'll be unsuspecting and, you know. <laughs> It'll hit us like a brick. Yeah. But we haven't had a big snow in this area, Bowling Green area, uh, in years that I remember. Not over a couple inches at a time. Yeah. But we used to have some fun when I was a kid. <laughs> Down in Butler County Way, um, I was telling my grandchildren the other day that my brother and I would slide off this hill, and um, this is going to take two cups of this cheese. Uh, we would slide off a hill down there where we lived, and then when I got to be a teenager, we uh, graduated to car hoods and pulled them <laughs> behind cars. So that's how bright we were. I don't think we ever did anything like that. No. I would have had a heart attack if y'all would have. <laughs> but I had a big time doing it. And you didn't pull the sled back up. <laughs> you just spun back up the hill. <laughs> Betty says, good old Butler County. Yeah. Say I need just a little bit more. Buddy still says, hey. Hi, buddy. I hope you're doing good. I saw where uh, Casey, I think, made some potato soup for y'all the other day. Soup potatoes. That looks so good. Hmm. And I love when you guys put uh, cooking things up there. Uh, just to, not really even just for me, but just to see that people are in the kitchen cooking. Um, even though our takeout places have to survive. Um, I'm a big believer since, uh, you know, I'm getting older of how much time we have missed at the table. And, uh, you know, somebody asked me the other day of uh, regrets, and uh, I've made many, many mistakes in my life. But really, the only regrets I have is not spending more time with my children. Uh, and I beat myself up over that for a long time until a uh, pastor told me one time, you can't do it all. You can't be the provider, the mama, the daddy. Uh, you just can't do it all. You're going to fail somewhere. Um, and that's kind of brought me a little bit of peace, uh, especially when I see how good my boys have turned out. Um, and you guys help do that because uh, Bowling Green and surrounding counties <laughs> raised them. Yeah, potatoes are getting tender. Shelly Blair says hi. Hello, Shelly Blair. <laughs> Tell me something good about Jacksonville. <laughs> and Deborah said she's making potato soup now. Cut up some leftover bacon and threw that in. Oh, that sounds great. So we're going to put a cup and a half of milk in here. There's one. And a half. Of milk. And then we're going to add, make sure I got everything up here at the top. I got to put a fourth of a cup of flour. Shelly, how's weather down there? Is it nice? I hope. Make me jealous. <laughs> Send me a picture lounging around that pool. 
tell that brother of mine that he needs to get a name on my seat because I'm getting antsy about coming down there. <laughs> and I want a nice pool chair <laughs> with a cup holder. <laughs> Pan Pan makes her cameo. All right, this right here, we're going to put a fourth of a cup of flour. Stir this in. Shelly says it's warm and rainy today. Yeah. Having to stay in the house, poor babies. <laughs> I hate that for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just teasing, honey. I know you'll get the laundry done today. <laughs> What's Olive Garden know about that? That's right. <laughs> Shelly said I'll get him on that task right away <laughs> alright so we're going to add a fourth of a cup of sour cream and our other um, I'll be a little nicer on this one <laughs> wow wow <laughs> <laughs> <Start now. laughs> we're going to add our cheese and our sour cream and then we just let this cook up, guys. Shelly said, Mike said it's a good day to stay in and drink rum. Oh. Can't argue with that. Rum shaker. Need some Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> Ashley Doherty waves. Say hi. Hi, Ashley. She's in Florida these days. And opened her own <laughs> beauty shop. Oh, that's awesome. Kaylee says, girl, add that whole stick and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all weren't watching, that's what we did. Yeah. We'll make it semi-healthy. I've got a friend of mine, Carol Bentley, who has done so good on uh, ketos. Not actually ketos, but cutting out sugar and white flour and all that stuff. Realistic and, keto. Yeah. And so <laughs> she said, I mean, are you ever going to cook anything I can eat? <laughs> Probably not. So always. we did eggs the other day. <laughs> Josh said, uh, I got here a little late. Would you mind starting over? Thanks. Josh, <laughs> my little precious. How's those beautiful babies of yours? <laughs> they are so pretty. The little picture you put up the other day of the two of them together reminded me so much of you and Jessica when mm -hmm. y'all were little. They're growing so big. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to let that cheese melt, which it about has, and that's it. We are done. That looks so good. So you let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure your potatoes are done, and we will probably serve this with a skillet of cornbread tonight. This will be our supper tonight, mm. and uh, we also have cornbread. Go back and look through our videos. We have a cornbread video. Uh, don't forget, we're going to do breadcrumbs. We have a breadcrumb video. <laughs> we're getting them up there. Yeah. We're getting ready for our book. <laughs> um, so, I hope your valentine is good to you. If you don't have a valentine, be good to yourself. If you do have a valentine, like most of us, be good to yourself anyway. And um, I think that's it. I wanted to tell you... I forgot my Bible verse last week, and uh, I kind of felt bad. We didn't meet last week, but the week before that, I forgot it, and I kind of felt bad. And this morning when I did mine, uh, on these little prayer cards that uh, Margaret, my friend, sent me, let all that you do be done in love. And that is 1 Corinthians 16, 14. And um, I really have gotten so much better at this. Uh, because I've always been a helper, and I love to help people, but it hasn't always been in love. It's because I wanted them to act like I wanted them to act, or I wanted them to do what I wanted them to do. Uh, but I can truly say, over the last few years, that I have learned how to truly love people and let them be who they are. Uh, so I pray that for you today, uh, that you can love people just like we're supposed to. I love you very much. Buddy, I'm thinking of you. Uh, Shelly, I miss you. Well, Kayla, <laughs> throw that butter to it, girl. <laughs> uh, Shelly said Mike was asking when you add the lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, not today. 
today. Them goes to the chickens today. And uh, Kim's watching. Uh, she said, happy Valentine's and love y'all. Love you too, Kimmy. We're wearing love your you, earrings. Kim. Love. I don't know if you heard that earlier, but I got a lot of compliments today. I wore them at work, so yeah. I've been uh, promoting for you. And Ashley said, happy Valentine's. Uh, Buddy says, you are just a good person. We love you. Oh, I love you, honey. Happy Valentine's, John Cole. I see you. <laughs> uh, I thank you all so much. This just makes me so happy. You know, I miss the restaurant business so much. Uh, I miss the money. Uh, <laughs> but I miss you all a hundred times more. Uh, you know, I made some wonderful friendships over the years. And uh, I would not be afraid to say that anybody I called that I met in those years, if I really needed you, you would be here. Uh, and that says a whole lot for your legacy. Uh, so I'm very, very thankful. Um, again, I'm thankful for you guys taking care of my boys. And we lived well for years. And I thank you very much for that. Uh, this little segment is so good for me to get back in the public. Um, not really, but <laughs> kind of, it feels like yeah. it. I kind of talk to y'all and boss you around a little. Put that butter in there. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, we don't know where this is going to go. Uh, we have something called uh, Patreon. And that little sniping, you go look at that site if you want to. And that kind of helps Clint uh, with all the production that he does here. And uh, anything we're hoping uh, to put a cookbook out. Uh, hoping to get started on that this summer. Uh, and we're excited about that. To have little stories to go with the recipes. Um... And we have uh, cookbooks, or not cookbooks yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Beep. Beep. Uh, womp, womp. Uh, we have t-shirts. T-shirts. And the ones that, uh, that were supposed to go out, I have got those in the bags to mail, but I haven't made it to the post office yet. Uh, Uncle David, I've got you one coming. Um, he sent money from Florida for me to oh. send him a uh, It's All Gravy t-shirt. Uh, but we have those. Uh, any monies made from those, I give to Maddie to go towards her uh, college fund. Um, and share, share, share. Anybody who might want to do some country cooking. And go to YouTube. I know it's harder to do that, but if you will, I truly appreciate it. And see if we can... Get the subscribers up to a thousand. That will open some doors for us. So thank and you. We had a big jump up to three hundred and fifty. Yeah, we so. got three hundred and fifty now. So when I say a thousand, it's not like I'm just making it up. It's a possibility. It's a lot closer, yeah. It's a possibility. <laughs> and we've already like we're working on uh, three thousand followers. Uh, so I'm just so blessed by all that, you know. And I'm sure people like. Uh, Brenda Gant liked me getting into this because I watch her all the time now. Um, and there's another little country girl that I watch, but she's a lot younger than me, so I quit watching her. <laughs> she's called Barefoot something. Barefoot Appalachia, I think. Uh, but she's really cute. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it, guys. Clint, do you have anything? Uh, if you all are listening, uh, <laughs> I want to <laughs> plug my newest book. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, just released uh, this last month. Um, so it's still pretty brand new. Uh, it's called 30, uh, find it on Amazon. Um, it's getting like a really, really great reception so far. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of it. If you wanted to check it out. It is a good read, guys. <laughs> Not just cause I'm his mama. <laughs> all right. I think we're done. Thank you all and happy Valentine's day. Enjoy your soup. <laughs>